video, I just want to walk through how we can create a immutable record and use a class definition. Um, I've gone through this in a couple of tutorials. Uh, link is coming to you at the top right now. And what I want to do is using TypeScript, I want to help you get a better user experience. Um, you can see from the, the looks here that first name isn't showing, even though our definition is showing that we've got a first name in the signature of the record. So although our person does in fact have a first name and our tests are passing to prove I'm not going insane, um, TypeScript can't see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create um, an interface um, that allows us to define the things that we're going to have within our person. So I'm going to make an interface of I person. And what I'm going to say is that we have a, uh, a first name, which is going to be a string. A surname, which is once again a string. And an age, which let's make it as a number. It's the only thing that makes sense. Um, lowercase s for the definition there. So now we've got this I person, we have a class which extends an immutable record. What I want to be able to do is actually implement this. So um, what I do is I just drop things down to an indent, leave it in all the things like this, and then extends and then implements this interface. If we run this, we should get passing tests, everything should be okay. Uh, but however, we've still not got um, first name, and now we've got an error. Well, that's because we're implementing this interface, but we've not defined these properties within this class. And this is something that's quite easily fixed, but looks a little bit odd. If we just define a variable of first name and surname, and then age, basically what we're doing is we're implementing all of the properties that are required. Uh, when we say we're going to um, extend this interface. So because we're implementing this interface, we've got to have these members as properties. And in order to do that, then we actually assign them here. And now that they're in the class, the implements I person is satisfied, so person is OK. And now you can see that our test should be OK. We've got first name. And just to show this, we could actually assert this. And if I do a dot, I should get surname. You can see I get all the properties. I'm actually pointing at the uh, monitor at the moment. I don't know why you can't see that. But we're getting all the properties. And we can also see all the extended things that you would get with a record, which is awesome. So we're getting true IntelliSense here. This is not IntelliSense just because um, it's looked at the JavaScript. This is true IntelliSense. So we've got surname equals... And what should it be? I think it should be Taylor. So I get T-Y-L-Y. -Y. Zoom in here so you can see this bit better. So um, if we go further down, we can see that there's actually a, a bit of a problem going on in that we now don't have the, the, um, the properties set up, even though we're clearly creating a person and we're merging. This is because person2 is not a person. We've used this merge declaration, which basically allows us to update person1, well, create a clone of person1 with a different name and a different age. And person2 now is actually going to be a map. Um, it's just going to be a, a, an immutable record, which is map under the hood. So what we can do is we can actually say, do you know what, you implement this interface. So you are going to be a person. So now we've done that, uh, our IntelliSense is working. We've got first name, surname and age, but we've still got a problem. We've got a problem in the fact that person two is not a person. It's a map of strings and keys and it's basically it's a map uh, an immutable map not javascript's map map 